All right, welcome back. So I realized that uh, our game actually have some bugs in here. You can see if you run into the enemy. I know it didn't happen there, but um, let's try again. Yeah, you can see if you run directly into the enemy, the death animation actually never tr get triggered, like such. Uh, and we don't want that. And yeah, so we probably want to fix that bug. So how do we fix that? Let's see. It seems that um, whenever we're walking, this is overriding the animation of dying, the dying animation. So we need to add a condition here. So this is the block where we set the movement animation. So what we need to do is we need to add a condition. So when attack, when you're not attacking, and and when the player is not dead. Only then we can uh, can set the walking movement. Let's try it here. All right. So when the player is not attacking and when the player is not dead, set the movement when we're moving. Uh, set the tile movement animation. All right, let's try this. All right. So that seems to solve the problem. Let's see if there's any more bugs here. Oh, seems like we have a bug with attacking we didn't disable attack you can attack after you're dead yeah okay we need to fix that so how do we fix that where's the attack action block mm, space okay so we say when the space bar is pressed and when the player got the sword we can attack we need to add one more condition here we need to make sure that the player is not dead So when spacebar is pressed and when player got the sword and if player is not dead, then we set the attack animation. And well and set attack to true. Also we just won't in that you attack. Alright, let's try that. Alright. So he got killed halfway through the attack because he didn't Okay. <laughs> well now let's see if we can actually beat this game because Okay, yeah, okay, so you need to time it very precisely. Yep, okay, so it's working now. Alright, cool. Alright, so the next video, we're going to work on the user interface a little bit. See you in the next video.